Welcome back to Consumer Lab. We got some good stuff for you today. We understand crime is going up, and I mean it's really going up, but we need to change that. We need to change some of the dynamics. So we're going to introduce you today, in case you didn't know, to, guess what? This bad boy. The Taste Boat 2. This is a way to protect yourself. You, your family, your kids, your wives. I did say wives, but plural. But nevertheless, we're here to protect you. We're here to show you different technology. Here at Consumer Lab, we like to show you many different things, right? We don't just talk about laptops and computers and stuff like that. But we also like to talk about your protection. And if you look at some of my past videos, by the way, subscribe, right? Leave a comment below. Look at some of my past videos. We talk about different things, right? We talk about other types of protections, such as the Save Life Vest, such as the Burner, right? Yes, and we're going to keep doing that because I think that that is part of technology, your protection, your safety. And you see the crime that's going on today. Crime doesn't stop for nobody. So you know what? Let's get into it. So let's get back into it. This here is a Taste Bolt 2. I'm telling you right now, this thing, it sends out a huge electrical impulse about, it's in the thousands of volts, but I think it's definitely over 10,000 volts, easily. Uh, it's got a laser pointer, right? It's got a huge amount of punch, and it will knock you on your behind. Definitely gonna knock you on your behind. This is made by Axion. Now, Axion, makes this particular taser and they also have a gun version they also have a more of a police version there's different versions but this one here is very good because this one here believe it or not between me and you this can be a carry-on you can have this even with a permit i want to say like let me just make sure i get this out the way that you have to make sure that your state will approve of this sometimes you need a permit Right, some states will require you have a, a permit, and some will not. It all depends on where you live and what state you live in. So I do want to point that out. With that being said, I'm telling you, this is a safe. This is a great device. I, I'm just gonna be straight with you. It really is because you know sometimes you might want to say, well, I can just get a gun and just shoot the gun. Well, you could get a gun, and shoot the gun, but then if you kill somebody, right? You've seen what's been happening lately. You kill somebody, you wind up going to prison for killing that person. Why? Because they try to bust into your house. You brought your shotgun. You brought the 2445, and you shot the person, and they die, unfortunately. But they try to get into your house and try to hurt your family. Or you're walking down the street, right? And, yes, you can pull out a gun and shoot the person. But then again, if you kill the person, you face charges as well, even though they try to mug, mug you, rob you, and maybe even stab you to death. It's crazy. I mean, who are we defending? Are we defending the, the innocent or are we defending the criminal? I mean, it's just crazy. But with that being said, so the other solution, a possible solution is, hey, you can use the mace. And we'll talk about that in another episode. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment below. Right? This consumer allows. We like to talk about these things. Right? And you can use this. You can use a taser. You can use it. Right? And it's, this thing will knock a person out. The beauty of this thing is that this here just it just totally disabled person. It makes their muscles like straighten up. Like basically they lose all muscle control. And it's gonna knock that person out. I mean, military use it, police use it. I mean, you've seen it, you've seen the videos, they're all out there. You can just Google search it and watch all the funny videos of people getting shot with one of these and they just <laughs> stuffing up and like this and they fall to the ground. It works. With that being said, this one here is more for consumer friendly. It's very simple. And another thing I must I must emphasize is that it does not look like a gun. It's very important. I, I definitely want to get this out there. That if there's like I said, there's others that's made by Axion, but it looks more like a gun. Now, I personally would not walk around in the streets with that. Why? Because just in case you do have to pull it out, it won't look like a gun. Somebody or a cop or a detective might see you pulling out and might be thinking you're pulling out a gun and then you get shot. And unfortunately, that going to end badly, right? So I definitely want to get out there. But I will say the Axion Taser 2, right? It does, the front of it have a yellow tip. So that is to emphasize to any law enforcement, law enforcement, excuse me, that it's not a real gun. It's very important. 
do not go and color over the yellow tip. Don't do it. <laughs> Simple as that. So let's talk a little bit more about how this bad boy works. Well, first of all, it's loaded, right? You got a battery in the back here, right? You got a CR battery in the back here. Take off the cover, insert the battery. You got, I'm telling you, this thing works so easily, so easily. It's unbelievable. All you got to do is, we'll make sure I'm in the camera here. All you got to do is hit this switch here. The cover flips open. Once you hit this switch, the cover comes off. I don't want to shine the laser light, but there's also a laser pointer here. I don't know if you can see it. I want to shine it to the camera. But there's a laser pointer there. And wherever that dot go, that's where the probes are going. <laughs> and I mean, that's where the probes are going, right? And also have a light here. So also have a, a big light here as well, like a flashlight. So not only are you sending a message to ever trying to attack you that there's a laser point on you. You know how people are. You got a laser on you. You know, it's kind of threatening, right? Plus, you got a light there to see your victim, the person, sorry, the person that's trying to take over you and trying to harm you and your family. And then the laser, the sorry, the actual cartridge that shoot out the probes goes right in here. I'm going to show you how that works in a second. Now, once you hit this button, like I said, the top comes off. And then you just press the magic button there, that green button, and then it's all over. That green button allows a charge of over 10,000 volts. I think it's about 20 or 30,000 volts to enter a person's body and to basically disable them. I mean, it really does it disable. Now, even without the cartridge, which, by the way, let me just show what that looks like. Looks like this. Even without this cartridge, cartridge, sorry, that it still going to knock you out with this. This is still going to hurt the person, really, really hurt the person. So you press the green button and it discharges for about 30 seconds. So let me just, just show you how that looks like. Press the button. And you can see that baby at work. I definitely, and it's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. That bad boy is, yeah, it's doing its thing. Ooh. Right? So you can see right away, this thing, this thing gonna knock you out. And by the way, mm, I can smell it. This is like, you can smell the arcing and sparking all over the place, it's crazy. But you can see how dangerous it is. Think about this, I just wanna point something out. Cause here at Consumer Lab, we like to work with these types of devices. We like to experiment on them, we like to test them, see how effective they are. And by the way, we do make our own type of device, but not like this, but for different reasons. And we'll get into that another time. Leave a comment below, Consumer Lab, please, please subscribe. Let me just show you something that's really unique and a lot of people don't point this out. They'll talk about the gun and all that, but they don't talk about the text of it. If you look here, I don't know if you can see that, there's, I don't want to say the tip, but nonetheless, that there's a metal piece here and there's another metal piece there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. And what happens is that arc is so much voltage. Look at the gap there. That's a huge gap that that electricity got to go across. And we all know that electricity, that air, and electricity doesn't really mix so well. Basically, it takes a lot, it takes a tremendous amount of voltage just to go over a little gap of air. But look at how much gap that is. That's a huge gap. So that means it's a huge amount of voltage coming from this end to that end. And I mean, I'm not talking about 100 volts or 10 volts. I'm talking about in the thousands, plural, voltage going across that. Now imagine that going into someone's body. The way it works is very simple. Our bodies are conductive, believe it or not. We can conduct electricity. And if this bad boy hits you, you're going on your behind. And I literally mean on your behind. So with that being said, the next thing you got to understand is what does this thing actually shoot out? Well, like I said, if the cartridge has been injected, then what happens is you can still hit your assailant with this. And like I said, you, maybe you can see it or not, but you can see that there is a light here and there's also a laser that will point out over there. With that being said, here is the cartridge that's actually shoots out. It's kind of crazy, right? This, by the way, is 15 feet. So that means your assailant that's trying to attack you, bow, you hit him. By the way, when you hit somebody with this, right, and you're going to use this, you don't think twice. Once that person comes come towards you with a knife or any type of weapon, like a stick or something like that, you aim, you let the red dot go, and wherever that dot goes, that's where these probes are going to go. Very, very effective. But let me just show you once again. So this is what comes out. This is what projects out of this cartridge. And what it does is once it shoots out, right, have these probes here. Look at these probes. See them probes? Think of a, have you ever, maybe you went fishing before. Maybe not you went fishing. These probes 
digs into your skin. And I mean, it digs into your skin like a like a fishing, like a fish. Think about this. When you go fishing, you throw the, uh, you throw the hook in the water and it gets caught up in the fish mouth and the fish try to break free, but it can't because the more, the more they try to force themselves away from it, the more it digs into them. Same concept. By the way, I do want to point out that both of these probes must hit your person that's trying to attack you. Both. They both must uh, hit into your skin because if they don't, they do not make a conductive path they do not conduct the path if it don't it's not going to work so if one going to you not the other it's not going to work so you may see people say oh i shot the thing and they didn't hurt nobody well did both probes go in <laughs> right that's a good question right another thing i would say is that when this is being injected from this it's leaving this cartridge with a huge amount of force i definitely want to mention that so it will go through your clothes thin clothing now I haven't really tested how thick of a closing. We're going to do a gauge later. We're going to measure it in micrometers and then use the caliber. And we're going to see how thick of a material can go through. But it's not just the thickness, also the hardness of the material. So there's a couple of factors involved. But definitely, if it goes through the clothing, it's going to your skin. It's, it's no if ands about that. So it's a basically simple thing. Once again, put the cartridge inside here. I don't want to turn it on because I'm going to get electrocuted. It goes inside here. Simple as that, and then you press the button, and then this probes will eject from here, and it'll fly in the air up to 15 feet. It'll dig into your skin, and that is all she wrote. It's going to stay into your skin, at least for about 30 seconds. Now, once that happens, you want to release this. You want to take this, and you just want to release it. Let it go. That's it. And then you, basically what they tell you to do is after you uh, shoot the person with this, you're supposed to actually leave the scene leave the scene one thing i do want to mention is that when this thing uh shoots out the probes it also shoots out these like little i call them like leaflets <laughs> it's not called leaflets but it'll send out these little papers and that's to let you know that it have ejected and has been used now another thing is that you can also connect this to your phone so when it shoots it sends a, a notice to your phone that uh notice the phone or police that it has been ejected now i believe that's for the other uh gun i have one i'll show you the other one that one is really nice too it's also uh also made by axion it's a, also a taser as well but with that being said you get the picture so why you need all this like i said keep in mind the world is not simple no more we have a lot of crime crime is everywhere people are fighting one another people are coming on trains and subways with knives and, and all this craziness i don't know what's going on i mean i wish somebody could tell me but it's getting kind of crazy out there. You have to have protection 24 hours a day. You just don't know when things are going to happen. You're seeing crime happen in supermarkets. You're seeing crime happen in schools. You're seeing crime happen in churches. People come in there with, you know, and ready to shoot up a whole church. It's getting crazy. People are stabbing people on trains, on buses. It just, I mean, it doesn't even matter what time of day. People are getting stabbed early in the morning, afternoon, evening, breakfast time, dinner time and snack and why they sitting there at a grocery store google it go google it you'll see what i'm talking about this is the world we live in 24-hour coverage guess what we need also 24-hour protection that's what we need every day and any day because you just don't know when something is going to happen and I mind you this here is just another possible solution for the possibilities Will this solve all your problems? Will this make you safe? I guarantee you one thing. If I shoot somebody with that, they're going down. It's going to, it's, they're going down. There's no if ands about it, right? Now, I know people say, well, I didn't go down. Listen, there's always those exceptions to the rule. But the majority of people, when they get hit with a taser, when they get hit with over 20,000 volts, you're going down. Your muscles going to, your muscles going to tighten up and you're going to fall, right? That's if, that's no if and maybes. Now, how much does this cost? Okay, this device here, <laughs> I know you're gonna say, oh my gosh, this device is about almost $500. Hold up, stop, stop. You're like, oh my gosh, $500. I know you're saying that. But let me ask you something. Is your life worth $500? I mean, you heard this saying before. Is it? I think your life is worth $500. I think your life is, un un there's not even a price you can put on your life. Right? You can't put a price on your life. 
So why not take protection? Why not be safe? By the way, I'm not getting sponsored by that. I want to make sure I got that clear. But guess what? This is Consumer Lab. We at Consumer Lab, we value life. We, we value the, the ideal, the notion that you protect it. This right here is a taser bolt too. It's one of the possible solutions to your, your you being safe. It's one of the possibilities. But guess what? This one here, at least if I tase you, there's less likely that person's going to die, which means less likely you're going to go to jail. Right? Or you might, you might not go to jail, but I guarantee you one thing, that family member, and you know I'm telling the truth, they're going to complain, oh my gosh, you killed my baby, you killed my son. But you know, miss, the, he was trying to rob him. He was trying to rape the little girl, 12 years old. Yeah, but I know, but he wasn't going to. They, 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 your mothers and parents, man, they'll protect their kids. They don't care if their kid was trying to rape somebody, stab somebody, kill somebody. Oh, no, they're innocent, they're innocent. But we got him on film. We got him on camera. Matter of fact, he admitted to it. He or she admitted. Well, what are we talking about? Guys, we got to be safe. This Consumer Labs, we talk about many different topics. We look at all the technology. We dive into it. And by the way, if you want to see more about safety, leave a comment below. And on top of that, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? When we have time, we're going to show you the actual circuitry of this. We're going to build the circuitry. We're going to show you how this voltage and all this stuff gets to that level to thousands of volts. So stick with us. We got a couple of things coming up. We got, we got a couple of things. Hey, we got the Apple Vision Pro too. We're going to talk about that too. And you know what? Eh, we might even get into it. We kind of like purchased it just so you can see what it works like. Y'all, listen, Consumer Lab, you know what? We'll talk.